Well, hello. There's plenty of reasons to come and visit Wales, apart from the food and drink, like Welsh cakes, lava bread, which is seaweed, brains beer, which is disgusting. <laughs> uh, we've got the cultural icons, Richard Burton, Dylan Thomas, and top of the list, Bonnie Tyler. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Michael Grace Sheen. Jones, <laughs> from Jamaica. <laughs> anyway, in no particular order, here's a five, five. Th thanks for that visual icon. Yeah, five top reasons to visit Wales. By the way, look at that beef. Look at that. Number one, landscapes. From the mountains of Snowdonia, all the way up in the north, all the way down to the Brecon Beacons in the south. We've got a lot of countryside and big empty spaces. And if it's beaches or coastlines you want, you can't do better than Pembrokeshire National Park over in West Wales. And what about here? The Gower. Look at this beach. You may be able to get a spot somewhere. Reason two, castles. We all actually live in one in Wales. There's over 600 castles in Wales. From ruins like this in Kenfig, to the grander ones like Cardiff, Philly and Pembroke. So wherever you stay, you're not gonna be more than about 15, 20 miles away from one. Ugh. Number three, the Welsh people and culture and the sheep. As mentioned, we've got Richard Burton, Dylan Thomas, as well as the Germans' favourite, uh, Bonnie Tyler. We've got other great actors like Anthony Hopkins, Michael Sheen, singers Tom Jones, Shirley Bassey, uh, Roald Dahl, who was born in Cardiff. Uh, and of course, for services to old people, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Mrs. Michael Douglas. Yeah, so if you are coming to Wales, here's a handful of useful phrases. We'll start with um, the classic, over by there. Over by there just simply means there. Okay, it's the same sort of thing as now in a minute, which just means in a minute or soon. Uh, there's classic ones to do with food, half and half. Half and half, that's half rice and half chips. There's a bottle of pop, that's a bottle of soda. Uh, daps, training shoes. What other classic ones are there? Dut, small. And what your gran used to say to you when you're coming dirty or sticky or all messy or gross is achavi, means something dirty, something piggy. So achavi. I'll get you through most situations when you're visiting Wales. I think I've been stalked by sheep. The sheep on the hills looking at me over there. Anyway, reason four, Cardiff, the capital of Wales. People from Swansea will probably, well, will disagree with this. Uh, we love Cardiff. It's a really self-contained city. It's got the castle in the centre and around there's lots of shopping. They've got the big brands like House of Fraser, John Lewis, as well as all the independent shops in the Victorian arcades. It's got uh, Cardiff Market. Uh, what else? Oh, Millennium Stadium, obviously, with the big sporting events and the rugby's held. Uh, down the bay, you've got the Barrage, Millennium Centre, the big theatre and opera house. You can sail on cruises around the bay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, don't forget, if you want to see some sights, go to Caroline Street at two o'clock in the morning and see all the drunks and the girls fighting seagulls over chips. Chippy Alley, Caroline Street, that's a bit fun. Uh, St Fagans, 
St Fagans uh, Museum of uh, Welsh Life. That's just outside the city. You can see all the old buildings. Yeah, Cardiff, number four. Number four. Those sheep are still staring at me. Anyway, reason five, the weather. The green, green grass of home. It's green for a reason. It rains all the time. Look at it. Uh, what do you expect? It's Wales. There's one village up in West Wales near Cardigan. A couple of years ago, they had 85 consecutive days of rain. <laughs> anyway, just get your coat on, get wrapped up warm. Don't expect to lie on the sun lounge all year. And what does happen is because we face the Atlantic, the wind comes across the Atlantic, the prevailing winds, and they bring massive waves and really good swells and they come crashing around the west of South Wales coast. Anyway. Good for surfing then, is it? Good for surfing, great for surfing. Wind surfing? Wind surfing and kite surfing, all that, all elemental surfing. Even online surfing. We've got the internet in Wales as well. Amazing. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up warm because I'm freezing. <laughs> Those are our top five reasons to visit Wales. What are your top five? Do you have any special place? Any hidden gem? If you do, let us know below. And no sarcastic comments about the best place in Wales is the M4 and the road out. As I say in Wales, dioch means thank you and ta for now. Watch some other videos as well. Thank you.